Guys, check it out. There was no one in the car. Actually, it's driving itself. Oh, there was a car. So, all right, that's good. So you just slow down and there's... Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We have this x P5 here today and we will uh, do a few tests for it in the coming few days. Today, we will contact one of the major functions of the x X Pilot, the VPAL, so which means a valid parking assist LiDAR, or we call it automatic parking across different floors, as there were two sensors on the front, so this one going to be very helpful. Unlike the VPA can only uh, do that on the same level, the VPAL takes it to the next level. x Motor is a tech-oriented EV company. Uh, so there is many cutting-edge technologies equipped on this uh, model, on their cars, especially this model. For the models we have here today, it's the high-end model, uh, 600p. And the smart OS has been upgraded to the latest version, uh, 3.2.0. This car is equipped with two LiDAR sensors at the front. This one and that one, both on the side. And uh, also the 5mm wave LiDAR sensors and the 12 ultrasonic uh, sensors all around the car. And uh, the other comes with four surrounded cameras and the nine high sensing cameras. That's quite a decent amount of the autonomous driving hardware. However, I think the more important thing is the software. How the expert team, expert team optimized in, the, in using those hardware around the car in every single aspect. So that's going to be an important part. As the hardware, every like um, automakers they could equip on their cars. But the important thing is how they op optimize the software things. So let's find out how this expert performs for the VPAL. Alright guys, now we are getting close to the shopping mall over there. So it is pretty busy shopping mall. I think it's going to be a big challenge for uh, x P5 today. This guy is telling us to go to that side, but uh, this side seems more busy, so we're just going to give him a little bit challenging today. You guys see that? So many cars ahead. That's going to be a big challenge, definitely. So the way we're going to trigger it, so either we can uh, ask an Xiao P to uh, turn on this function, and also we can do it from there. The camera seems pretty clear here. Yeah, that's very good. And of course, the X X P five is supports the transparent chassis. We can see from the underneath the images underneath things. All right, so we just tap on here and then we're going to start from here and then confirm all right we just keep driving so the first time we have to drive ourselves so the system could learn and remember and memorize and visualize all the surrounding informations so next time it would drive by itself all right so we just wait for this car you can see here so the the radars and the sensors is scanning all the time, like for the surrounding information, all the vehicles and also the pedestrians. All right, so there is um, so many pedestrians ahead, so we're gonna just drive slow a little bit, and uh, we are probably going to uh, the basement three. Very good. The system recognizes we are going through this go down the ramp, and also the speed bumps here is being visualized here. This is one thing we need to notice here. So we couldn't drive too fast. So the system recommends we drive uh, like below 
uh, 15 kilometers an hour at uh, the first time as the system would have been able to get more surrounding information. Now we are going to find uh, any parking spot. All right, I find a good spot. So that one is right uh, to the corner here. So this one is going to be a challenge for x P5. Right on the corner, and there was one. And this car didn't park well. As you guys can see from here, there are so many. So all of the the, 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 the car park is being visualized from here. So that's pretty nice. All right, guys. Now we go back to the ground, and then we're going to try it. <coughs> Alright guys, now we are close to the entrance again and the exam is coming for this x P5 today and So we just press this button here and then we're going to start from here yeah. So we just release the brake oh, So there were so many like pedestrians so right so the system is always giving us like alert or warn us there is pedestrians and we need to pay attention to check the surrounding information all right there are so many pedestrians so actually we are going from so we are go we are turning left side and uh, also there are so many pedestrians to see how it handled it all right that's good so you just slow down and then stop and it's way team and it's way for all the pedestrians step stepping aside that's good all right guys we are now on the ramp so we go down the and uh, there is a vehicle like driving away from the parking spot and uh, so the car just slow down and stop and wait for all right so a head vehicle seems like reversing so the system, I think it's going to stop. Yeah, yeah, slowing down. And that's good. It's, it's completely stopped now. As you guys can see, like it's, it's flashing. The headlight it was flashing twice. All right, I think we are getting close. It's 72 meters. We need it there. We are so lucky, no one take no one take it. That's good. That's very good. Alright, so we're gonna drive to there a little bit. Yeah, so there was a uh, pedestrians like very close, so it's completely stopped. So there's pedestrians on that side. So we just need to prepare to stop as there was pedestrians. Alright, so that's very close. 90 centimeters. Okay, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Wow. That's pretty quick. That's pretty impressive, isn't it? As you guys can see, we drove like all the way from like the, uh, the ground and then basement one, basement two, and all the way basement three. And uh, there was a lot of uh, turning here, and then we finally arrived our spot here. And it looks pretty good. It's right on the spot, right here. So we can actually. Uh, share this route and uh, we can choose uh, in which floor like uh, uh, underground uh, uh, level 3 and then we're going to confirm so the next time if, if they cancel this uh, shopping mall so they can just directly use our route shared before so they don't need to learn it so that's pretty convenient and that's pretty good for expert uh, owners all right guys that was so amazing so we are wondering how does it compare to human memorizing a new car park let's find out all right guys we just randomly find a parking spot over there you guys check that sign yeah in there so the expert p5 and me we are first time going to the underground car park all right so let's go all right guys we just close to this uh the car park entrance here and i'm not sure it's going to Work on us. This oh, okay, that's good. The gate is opened. Then we're gonna all the way 
go down the ramp to the basement one, I think. Yeah, we're gonna start from here. Yeah, we're gonna start. Yeah, all right. I'm already uh, getting confused now. I'm getting a little bit confused. I will just keep driving. I'm already lost. Maybe. I'm gonna park brown clothes. Of course, we can do it like automatically. So, but I'm gonna do it myself. Yeah, also we can do it like this. I guess I just going to show you guys. We get off the car and uh, we're going to check the, the parking lot number. Alright, so now one is the minus two a b o three one all right i hope i can find this parking spot later all right so now we are so we now we are going back to the ground i'm going to try first as for human as for human the the short-term memory all right guys now i'm going to the car park again and then let's see how long it's going to take for human yeah and now i'm the re representative of the human now i'm kind of nervous as i i think i'm uh, almost forgot most of the most of the loot yeah and now i so i'm going to uh, turn on the stopwatch here All right so we need to be faster Yeah, all right, I got it. You guys see that BMW and the Toyota over there. That's good. We we find our spot here. Yeah, and that's the one. And then we're gonna to reverse into the spot. Let's see how much time we're gonna take. The minus two A B O three one. All right, we finished, and then we're gonna stop. Yeah, it's around the three uh, minutes and uh, six seconds that's not too bad uh, isn't it it's uh, second time in, in this parking spot in this car park i think you know that wasn't bad right i think i'm probably going to win this round all right now we we're going back to the grant and uh, we're going to uh, ask uh, the x1p5 to do this all right guys now it's the machine turn let's see how how long it's going to take for the x1p5 yeah you see artificial intelligence so it's going to be faster or our human will, will be faster maybe we need to drive forward a little bit all right now we're going to tap on this button here and we're going to stop stop the reverse the slot watch here and then we're going to release the brake all right that's pretty fast the good thing from the machine is, is they are not hesitation without any has, hesitation I think that's very good yeah for human if we are not familiar with those area we need to like we, we need to think like which so which route which intersection and where are we gonna make make a turn it seems pretty fast, it's going to 17, 16. The speed in the car park, I think it's pretty fast already. It was 17 or 18. Alright, so there is a pedestrian over there. 
So they do here. It's like two and a half. I already finished. So it's less than three minutes. Two minutes and fifty-seven seconds. And the rest on the spot there. Wow. The maximum memory rise distance is uh, two kilometers. That's going to be insane. I think uh, for human, we definitely couldn't do it. like that long distance memory rising things, the loot. Yeah, I think uh, for me, I definitely couldn't do that. Hey guys, finally we finished the VPAL test today. We got a chance to take a rest now. Thanks for the Xpen uh, P5 the cinema mode. For this mode, we got this project on it. And uh, even we got a fridge, the mini fridge over here. So we can cool the drinks. That's pretty good. Even we have this thing, the mattress, the air mattress. This one is quite soft. And you've got all these, the pillows, the, the, the pillows here. That's pretty nice and soft. And even we have this uh, large screen here. That's pretty nice. So now we have time, have some drink, and uh, I'm going to share with you guys my thoughts about today's taste. All right. Overall, the VPAL is impressed me. One very important thing is that there is no any GPS signal could help the uh, positioning at the underground uh, park, parking spot. It has done the visual mapping merely relying on the sensors and the cameras around the car. So we can use it at any uh, underground car park. That's quite impressive for me. Some of you guys may say that experienced driver I could do that more if quickly and efficiently. But if we uh, compare with uh, most of the new drivers, it has done pretty good job as the artificial intelligence is to keep learning. The ability of learning new knowledge is much faster than human. Another aspect uh, uh, is the P5 uh, could remember nearly two kilometer the route at the stage. For human, I doubt that we could remember that distance in the complicated car park for the second times or, or even three or four times. I don't think so. For me, myself, I don't think I can do like that. Uh, a long distance, uh, the car park memorizing is definitely a big step for human with many versions of ODA upgrades and more owners sharing uh, more car parks. This function will be optimized in the future. Uh, could you image the scenario that we just get off the car at the front of the shopping mall? Then the car itself drives to the underground car park, same as the rail uh, railway parking. When we finish the shopping, then just simply click uh, the button on our phone, uh, then the car comes to pick us. That's pretty good. According to the expert, they are now working on autonomous driving and uh, all scenarios, uh, including VPAL, Highway NGP, and even the City NGP. The City NGP is coming soon for test. Uh, so it will be a big challenge for them as the Chinese road condition are much complicated if we compare with uh, many other countries. Therefore, I'm a bit ex expecting the rare performance of it. I will definitely uh, share with you guys when it's ready. Now we are very close to the future. I believe it's not too far away for us. I do really hope more companies uh, are they could do this kind of thing to explore the way of a fully autonomous driving to boost human productivity. All right, that's uh, all my thoughts today. And thanks for watching today's video. If you have any uh, thoughts, please leave your comment below. All right, thanks.